guys straight off the bat a moment for this makeup like i um oh my freaking god i am beat to the quads you know i never i don't think i've actually ever started a youtube video with the makeup already done but i just knew i was gonna have to show you what you guys were getting into you know and this is what you were getting into we're gonna do like the night before prep we're gonna do hair prep we're gonna do everything like my whole routine as if i was literally getting ready for my graduation my graduation is next week she's the you know guys degree and whatever per um yeah so we're gonna do the full step but so every little detail like literally from start to finish all my tips tricks my hair how i got my hair to look like this because she's fake honey this is fake half of this is fake so i'm not gonna prattle on for ages in this intro because this video is gonna be long but oh girl is you in for a ride have fun guys happy watching right guys so i'm having a bit of a moment with the camera um i'm not sure if it filmed it or not but i just removed any like makeup residue just with a cleansing oil um that i'm trying to use up all of so there's that done so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take my professionally clear daily pardon me exfoliator from neutrogena and just um wash my face with this basically you just want to make sure that your face is as clean as possible like you want a clean face no makeup residue nothing nice and squeaky clean and look at this little fucking shiner i've got she's cute she's a vibe hmm. right so not gonna lie face feels so tight and it's not gonna get any better at all so here i have my sweat block so if someone like me oily skin sweaty skin like on the face i'm a really big facial sweater you want to get your hands on some of this bad boy trust me um so yeah they're just little packets you literally just open them and then leave it on like all night basically it comes in like oh my god my hair's like stuck it's like a little towelette thing and then just open her on up and then you're supposed to pat it in the areas that you sweat. So mine is, I'm trying to get a little bit, it feels so dusty on my lip. Um, like literally all in this area. Okay, you literally just pat it. And when I tell you for the next three days, three, four days, this area will not sweat at all obviously these are meant for armpits <laughs> but it is so good it's the best trick ever and i saw it on tiktok and it literally has changed my life because my upper lip and chin just literally sweat so much because like, i feel like i masked my oil but it was just like the facial sweating was just not a vibe so you should just do that like you can do the whole face if you really want to but i always feel like you know like if the sweat doesn't come out here it has to come out somewhere on your body and i don't want to do my whole face and then have the sweatiest pits ever so yeah i just do the areas so that it gets bad in i did a white skincare last night so i know that my skin's all nice and nourished Ugh. from last night still honestly just trying not to go my lips because it is dusty it's not nice it does not smell nice either and then when I'm satisfied with patting it everywhere, you should just put it in the bin. I'm just gonna put some lip balm on because I 100% got it on my lips. Just to try and like get it off, kind of. Make my lips not taste foul. But yeah, that's literally it. No skincare, nothing, just this. And then just go to sleep. Like, is your face gonna feel like the best thing in the world when I go to sleep? it's not but it's manageable it's not the worst thing in the world um and then yeah when i wake up we will do the rest of the routine but i just wanted to show you like everything i don't want to like skip this tonight what i do tonight because it is a really really big like contributing factor to how the makeup 
wears throughout the day now i don't do this every week or anything i literally just do this like if i have like a really special event coming up or like if i'm going out to buddy buddy there's only something i started doing recently um but it is a game changer it is so so good but i will see you guys in the morning okay right so it is now the next morning <clears throat> and my face feels tight as hell so i've had a shower i washed my face in the shower just again with my neutrogena daily face scrub and yeah you want this the skin to be feeling really tight mine is feeling really tight right now around here um and yeah but like no sweat it's like pretty hot right now and like it's funny because like you can almost like feel that your face wants to sweat but it's not going to which is really really weird obviously so yeah so that that's all done so now we're gonna do hair i did wash my hair yesterday um so right now what i'm gonna do is i am just gonna blow dry it um so yeah because obviously like i've washed my face i'm not toned or anything like that i'll leave that to like when i'm gonna do my makeup so i'm just gonna blow dry my hair so i'm literally just gonna use this bad boy it's just a heat protectant so last night after i washed my hair i just put in like a leave-in conditioner just so my hair was nice and nourished yesterday and yeah this is from a brand called imbune um and this is like a heat protectant but it's meant for curly hair i do think it if you have curly hair like me it's important to try and get like a heat protectant that is made for your hair type because i find that you know we need a bit of extra protection to protect the curl pattern so yeah i'm just gonna use this bad boy and i'm literally just gonna blow dry it with a hair dryer and a round brush and obviously this will make it wet so i'm gonna be back in a sec after i've done that because you don't want to watch me do that it's boring like it's just blow drying your hair it's nothing too complicated <laughs> so yeah i'll be back in a sec okay right now that that is done i just i never can believe how long my hair is it's actually crazy so that's done so i am literally just gonna section my hair in half um and i'm literally just gonna straighten it like you may be thinking oh that's a bit excessive but like as you can see my hair is still like really really puffy i don't ever really do this on special occasions um so yeah i'm gonna straighten it um just so it lays like a super 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 flat so i've just halved it and then i'm just gonna like do this front bit first so i'm literally just gonna pin this bit back here like that and i'm just gonna go around and straighten it all um and i'll be back once i've done that like again it's nothing interesting like, i've already got heat protection in my hair so i'm actually just gonna straighten it okay so we are all straightened and everything i've not done that in like forever so it might not be the best but it is just gonna have to do you know so then so i'm gonna do like i'm sure you saw in the opening like a bang like here so i just want to section that off basically so i'm just gonna take my rat tail coat and i probably want it to start about here around and of course this all here is literally just gonna go straight back so you can just like comb that back so it's out the way okay so i'm actually gonna bring it over a bit more so what i'm gonna aim for is where my iris like starts like there so i'm just gonna take my rat tail and just that bit in oh, it's just so much easier to part your hair when it's straightened it should look like, so 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 easy and get that little bit in there okay so we'll be looking at something like this this shape here so i'm literally just gonna braid this just so it stays nice and up the way and then i'm actually just gonna clip it to my head so it's really 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 out the way okay just like that so this is what we are working with now for our button obviously like i don't know about anyone else but my hair just knots so easily even when it's straightened so i just kind of brush it back okay and then obviously you want to get your baby hair out so i'm just gonna do the ones here just make sure that none of these ones in that go like in front of my hair my ear here <laughs> that's dr zeus i'm going to think things going on there um is like in the front because otherwise they piss me off if they like try and go behind my ear and stuff and it's just not comfortable at all and i feel like it does make the hair look messy
Okay, I've not got very much shine and jam left to be fair, but I don't need a lot because my hair is straightened. So with this, I'm gonna like go around here just to make sure that I'm getting that like really nice and laid down and making sure that all the hair is where I want it to be. Just something like that. And then whatever's left will kind of just, we'll just put here, there and everywhere. Shine and jam is good because it like takes ages to dry down um so it stays like malleable for really really long but it just helps to you know hold that hair down if someone who's got a lot of hair like me it can all get very like oh and like very very hectic so yeah it's just nice to be able to hold the hair down and even like if you have your baby hairs out like you can literally just go like that and it will help to hold them in place Okay, and then I'm just gonna get a hairband, put it on my wrist, and I'm gonna start to put this bad boy in a bun. So I would say like using a mixture of a comb and a hard brush is good. So I kind of just comb just to get all of like the big bumps. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go in with my hard brush. And then I am literally just gonna band it with that hairband that I put on my wrist. Okay, so we're looking at something like that. So now what I'm gonna do is you just wanna make sure that there are no lumpies or pumpies or anything. I am gonna take my got to be, got to be glued hairspray, and section by section, I'm gonna start spraying that and brushing it back with my hard brush and then i'm just gonna get my hairbrush and as i do that i'm gonna try it as i do that right now that that's done i'm gonna take another band and just reband it with that and i'm just pulling it nice and tight and then i'm just gonna go in and just like perfect any areas that i can feel need it like at the back or any areas i can literally see it at the front okay now that that's done we're gonna want to put it in a bun so i'm just gonna wrap it around just like that nice and tight and then start working it around okay and then of course i'm just gonna secure that with a band and then i've got just got this bad boy that i got off amazon i think this was literally a tenner on amazon um and it's like a bun thing um because i wanted like a big bun because obviously my bun's quite small so it's literally just like a hair band and it's just got like hair all over it if that makes sense so i'm just going to put my hand through grab my button and then just slide it on and then obviously just make sure that it's covering the button but that's what that one looks like so you guys can see i just wanted like you know like something there i feel like i need big hair in some way um i think it's because i got big boobs i feel like i need big hair because i've got big boobies to balance me out so yeah that one just looks like a nice elegant bun yeah i literally got that for a tenner off amazon i couldn't find any in the hair shop they had like none in the hair shop for some reason so now that that's done we're gonna do all the front bits so we've got to do our swoosh and our edges so here i just have like a pack of 
blended hair now blended hair is like human hair and synthetic hair mixed so it's cheaper but it doesn't like not really really easily and you can use it like a good few times um this is from um sensational this one is and i wear the shade two um this has a little bundle of 12 in it um this is european wave i think um so yeah i'm gonna see if this is the length that i want or if i want it longer so that would be like the length hmm i don't know i'm trying to think i feel like i do want it longer than that that one's tall as well let me try and find a 16. right i can't find 16 i can't be bothered to be looking for ages for one so yeah so 12 it is i'm sure it'll be fine i'm just being pernickety so let me just i don't know why this one is just like so secure unravel this bad boy so they come on tracks if you didn't know so this is it like tripled up this is what it looks like so yeah it's gonna come to probably about my chin in the end so you want to open it up all the way or you can do it double if you want but i am just gonna do it singles so i'm just gonna do a little bit at a time and build it up obviously the curls will try to stick together because that's what curls do you don't want to leave the herd okay so this is like the full bundle that we are working with so i'm gonna take this out now and i have my wig glue as well so i'm gonna be using wig glue. this is just the salam salon salon pro um this is just a little guy can i get a new one just on whatever so i am just gonna re-straighten this because obviously it's i just don't even know what it's doing so basically what i'm gonna do now i've just got some scissors and i don't know why just that little tuft is there i'm gonna cut that off just gonna start while my um straighteners heat up you just want to measure so obviously i'm gonna start here i want to start measuring out the sizing for them and i'm gonna put quite a few in and obviously every time I'm just gonna measure so they'll start to look like that I'm just gonna put her to the side and obviously I'm gonna go down this way because that's where I want it to come if that makes sense so obviously you can either just leave it straight or you can like try and imitate the curl now but I'm just gonna leave it straight and then when they're in that's when I'm gonna like blend it together and like try and imitate the pearl. So that's what we're looking like. So then obviously you just wanna literally just section the hair. Just to pop some glue on the track. So you just have to kind of think about <laughs> um, wig glue, like eyelash glue. So just let it dry for a little bit before you stick it on okay and then obviously once it's dry you want to stick it in that little gap created and just let me press it down with a comb and then yeah we're just going to go along like that basically guys just along obviously i'm going to fast forward it because i'm not going to subject you to me doing this like a million times because you probably will get so freaking bored <laughs>
Okay, right, so we are looking at something like this right now. So I'm just gonna give it a little comb together. Ugh, the fact that I have gray hairs is actually depressing. Okay, so it's looking something like that. So I am just gonna be super lazy and then use my straighteners to curl it. <laughs> way that curls going. So yeah, I'm literally just gonna start running that through just any bits that like I can see are like really really straight. So obviously like this bit here. And on that little end I'm gonna use some hair oil. So this is the hair oil nourishing fiber repair. This is just from hair care by Beauty Bay. I'm just gonna put some of that on the tips of my fingers and just get that in there. I'm actually going to be a really, really bad person and don't do this at home, but I'm going to cut my hair. <laughs> Just because it is really dead and it does need a cut anyway, so I don't feel too bad cutting it right now. Okay, so we are looking at something like that so i really like how it looks so now i just need to do my edges so i am literally just gonna take a little edge brush and i'm gonna take my eco styler and i'm just gonna do my edges and then I'm just gonna spray them with my got to be and that is literally my hair done in no way is it a quick easy hairstyle um it definitely takes a while and stuff but you know you can't rush perfection I think this would be super nice with my cap on um and like yeah I just feel like it looks really really elegant and sophisticated and I love so I'm just gonna go do some cleaning in my house I've got to go do some makeup for prom and then when I come back tonight we are gonna do the makeup because what I would normally do for this so my graduation's at 11 in the morning so I would do my hair the night before um and then wake up and obviously do makeup so yeah i guess it's kind of parallel to what we're doing now i'm gonna go do some stuff and i'll go do life and i will be back in what will be one second to you but a few hours to me okay and i am back oh it's late now i'm not gonna lie it's nine o'clock not ideal but i really want to get this done today especially as soon as i've done my hair you know I'm just so busy all the time at the moment. It's been really, really hard trying to film anything, especially YouTube videos and stuff. Um, I feel like I've not done my full, like, beat, like, full, full makeup in ages. Like, not since I've changed the shape of my brows or anything, really. So I'm super, super excited to see what the makeup's gonna look like today. I'm gonna try a few new things, you know, but like, that's the good thing about this is, like, it's a practice for graduation. So, like, can try some new stuff i can try some new things and whatever so yeah i'm gonna stop blabbing on forever and i am just gonna get into it yeah so i'm gonna start off with a um pore tightening face mask you want to use one that like you don't have to leave on for very long like this one's good because i think this one's like five ten minutes the charlotte tilbury one's good as well because i think that one's like three five minutes um so you want one that's like not gonna have to be on for ages and ages so this is just the glow recipe one this is the watermelon glow one so i am just gonna pop this bad boy bad boy on my face and of course i've still not toned 
or put moisturizer on today or anything I've literally been running around all day with no moisturizer on so you want to put this just on the areas that you get oily because obviously we've tackled the sweat now this is us tackling the oil um i actually only get oily in these areas technically the rest is just a sweat on like my chin and my upper lip these are just the areas that i produce a lot of sebum in so i'm literally just gonna whack her on there and I, i'm just gonna kind of like let me just pin my hair out of the way just like that right so why that does that i am gonna put some lip balm on my lips I've been drying. Um, so I'm just going to take a lip balm from Lutty London. Which one's this? This is the Sweet Lips. This is the marshmallow one. I think this one was a Christmas one, but I do like these. I like these ones and the ColourPop ones. So I'm just going to put that on so I literally don't have the driest lips on earth. And then I am literally just going to put some um, Got To Be Glued for brows in my brows. Um, if you've been following me on TikTok, you'll know that I have started to lower the front of my brow. So I've been growing them out here to lower them there. And you see where this like spot is? That's where my brow is used to start so it used to start here and come to like here this bit and go straight there um but as you can see i've been growing all out they're doing pretty good to be fair um hopefully by next week they'll have filled out a little bit more here and i'll like pretty much be good to die hopefully so you guys know the drill i'm literally going to go back and forth up and down everywhere in my brows and then just comb them in the direction that i want them to be in and then because i'm literally the laziest bitch ever i'm literally just gonna dry them with this mini fan <laughs> okay and then i'm gonna take my fave morphe pencil i wear the shade java this is the micro brow and i am just gonna start by drawing the bottom so i'm gonna extend extend it out and start to arch down just like that and then the same on the top extend out and start to arch down and then just uh, fill that bad boy in because obviously i literally do not have a tail on my brow and then obviously i'm just gonna fill in any like a little areas that are just like a really sparse like where they're still kind of growing in i'm just gonna fill them bad boys in okay once that is done i'm just gonna get the spoolie end and just kind of start to feather that out a little bit just like that okay and then i am literally gonna take my little rcma palette this is the shinto palette and i am gonna use this light color for the bottom and this dark color for the top my brain stopped working there and i'm just gonna carve them out Okay, now that's done, I'm gonna go wash this off and I will be right back, guys. Okay, so that is all off. So I'm gonna put some eye cream on. I've got this new one from P. Louise. Might as well give it a try. What's this, the eye toning age define? Something, something. That just went all over my finger, lovely. I'm just gonna pop some of that on. Oh, that feels actually really nice, actually. It's quite nice and like, thick feels like nourishing which is good right so mm, i'm kind of a bit undecided about my eyes um let me find one of like the inspo picks because basically right i can't decide if i want to do eyeliner or not I think I probably end up well because it's me <laughs> and I just need an inner corner wing to slay. I like, I saw this and I liked this. Um, so I might go for something kind of a similar ish, ish. Um, yeah, I think so. So what palette I'm gonna use? I think I'm gonna use my Artist Couture palette. Let me just get her out. 
so the supreme nudes from artist couture i know this isn't available in the uk and i'm so sorry but like the shimmers in this and for an eyeshadow palette to have really really good shimmers and me say with my chest that they have really really good shimmers they have to be 10 out of 10 like they literally look like like you know those like brown shimmers you see on instagram like on instagram models and stuff like that like makeup wise and like you're like what the fuck is like it just looks like photoshopped it looks insane these look like that um they are so so nice so i think i'm gonna go for something that kind of vibe so i'm gonna start with my morphe m441 this is like my fave brush for just like smacking a color all over my lid so yeah i kind of want to go warm ish but not too warm because i because obviously I love the Makeup by Mario palette, but that is very neutral and cool tone. It's not really warm tones in that palette. Um, so I'm going to start off with the shade Eccentric, this one down here. Oh my God, I need to put eye base on? Oh my brain, oh my God. So I'm going to put my P. Louise eye base on. I just wear the shade 2.5. Oh my God. I i'm tired all right i'm tired and i'm so sorry because i'm probably gonna make a million freaking mistakes in this video and you guys are just gonna be along for the ride i guess so i'm literally just gonna put, 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 put some of that in okay now i'm gonna go in with the eyeshadow i'm literally just gonna start by popping her on and the good thing is like i'm not really gonna worry about being like the neatest person in the world i'm kind of just gonna start packing it on and then blending it out so i feel like i should tell you guys just some stuff about like uni i guess like as soon as i am graduating it feels like i finished forever ago because it literally was two years ago it pretty much was forever ago but you know um so i have a degree in fashion management and marketing um it was interesting like it definitely had its ups and downs so basically my dad wanted me to do a business degree and i thought i was probably gonna die of boredom so i was like how can i make it fun so yeah fashion management and marketing it is because it's basically like business but for fashion so yeah um and i'm glad i did do that because i really do think i would have died just doing like a straight up business course because i wanted to study something that was like transferable but i was still gonna get you know like some enjoyment out of and of course like you have to remember like this was like I'd only just started getting into makeup and stuff like that. I'd always liked and enjoyed fashion and everything. Um, and yeah, my mom was like, no way are you going to get in? Like, you've not even done textiles at school or anything like that. And then I ended up actually going to the school that I wanted, which was really, really good and stuff. Because thank God I did get good grades at college. Um, so yeah, I ended up going. When I went, I was in a lot of debt. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I've had a really, really rough year the year before. Um, financially, mentally, <laughs> everything. Like it was a really, really bad year for me. It was probably the worst year of my life, one of them, to be fair. Um, and I went into uni with a lot of debt. When I got my first student loan, going to uni, um, I paid off my debt with it. Um, and I'm not talking like a credit card debt or anything. I, I don't have a credit card or anything. It was just like other stuff basically. Um, and yeah, I paid off my debt with it. And so that left no money for anything else really. So I had to work through uni, all three years of uni. Um, so basically my entire first and second years of uni every day i wasn't at uni i was working at a job at a part-time job which is already like crazy stressful i'm sure if you're sitting there and you have worked through uni you know the pain like it's hard it is a freaking hard work it's not easy um for one and then when you study oh wait one second one second one second one second, one second. so i'm next gonna go in with this shade just here what's it called aesthetic 
um when you study something like fashion management and marketing it's basically a business course but it's a design course so everything is done on like adobe illustrator um freaking indesign every marketing report is done on indesign and stuff and it's very very like heavily design based um, and obviously I just used all of my money to um, pay off my debt. I couldn't afford a laptop. Like I do not come from the family that I grew up with having a lot of money or anything like that. But you know, I've always been like, I can do it. Like, let's just do it. So I did my entire first year of uni on a computer in the library, every single piece of work every single like i had no laptop i couldn't afford a laptop because obviously you've got to think once because obviously you get three lots of like money throughout the year like i was just playing catch up like with that money for the first year like because obviously like that first stuff i paid off my student loan and then it was like rent and then i did have to move as well in my first year and of course that will cost money because i had to buy furniture and stuff and yeah it wasn't until the second year of uni when i got my student loan in september that i was able to go buy a laptop but yeah i was like <laughs> i like lived in the library like every day after lectures I would have to stay um, and do my work. But luckily, because of college, I was used to it. So basically in college, there was one bus, because like I grew up in Cornwall, obviously I went to college in Cornwall. There was one bus to college and one bus home. Um, and that was literally it. So like it went home at like i think like half four or five or something like that um and obviously like sometimes i'd have lectures that finished at two so i'd literally sit at college and just do my work because there was literally nothing else to do so i was kind of just used to just sitting and cracking on with it so that is literally what i did i just sat there and i would do it i'd even hand work in early and stuff and just really really ground it out and everything like that and oh my god when i tell you there were so many times that i felt like giving up at uni so many times like so so many times especially in my third year um that i'd end up having like a mental breakdown basically in my third year and i did get let down by a teacher really i do feel like i got did, did get let down by one particular teacher and stuff and i ended up getting one mark off of a first class honors degree which was annoying i'm not gonna lie to you i was kind of pissed like yes i'm happy to get my degree and everything and i worked hard for it harder than probably most the people on my course had to work for it but you know it is what it is and everything and i feel like two years later like i'm kind of over it now like yeah i got a two one <laughs> which if you don't know that's like a b so i was like basically one mark off an a for my overall degree but you know it is what it is you get what you give and all that stuff like, i can't change it now i did try and get a remark but they just wasn't having a bar of it okay now that's done and i'm pretty happy with it i'm just going to take some more of my p louise base on the back of my hand and i've completely lost my train of thought to where i was in my story oh yeah that i got a t1 and stuff and you know what's really hard at uni as well like i am dyslexic and i got so much help being dyslexic at college and when i tell you i mean university got zero help literally zero help nothing at all um so yeah <laughs> that was fun um and i'm literally just gonna like mm, i'm gonna kind of do a cut crease but not so this is a made by mitchell um um e4 and i'm gonna kind of like pat where i would have my cut crease i want like an undefined cut crease i really like the shape in the picture that they had like it was kind of like for a hooded eye so i'm just literally gonna pat it in to like where my crease is if that makes sense and i'm literally just gonna like pat it just so it doesn't have any half edges i want like the look to be soft i don't really want any harsh edges apart from my line which is gonna be sharp enough to cut you <laughs> just like that like you see that mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. feeling that vibe so then with a little shader brush i'm gonna start taking some of the shimmers so i'm gonna take the shade lavish just here this is stunning like you're gonna be shook when i start pressing this on this is so 
<laughs> so pretty i just i love it i'm just obsessed with it it's so freaking nice I do feel like something lighter needs to come in here and I'm trying to think of what I have that would be good for that. I might take some of this made by Mitchell shade. Um, I'm so sorry I've got no idea which palette it's from. Just kind of hit that in there just to help lighten that up in there. Oh, okay, just like that. I'm pretty happy with how that's looking. And then, of course, <laughs> it is time for the eyeliner. So, of course, it has to be Inglot Jewelry Line and Inglot 77 Liner. Come on, don't be silly. So, these two are about to get used and abused. Of course, it has to be on the makeup by Ariel Eyeliner Brush. I think my son's just really high himself. I'll be back in a sec. Oh my god. Oh my god, bless him. He's um his head. <laughs> <He'll live. laughs> so basically I am just gonna start this. I just take some of it on the back of my hand, my little concoction, and then just with my eye open, looking forward, I'm gonna extend my lash line up. hair wants to be involved and then I'm gonna bring it straight in just like that see I've got that shape there and then of course when I open you have the step I have hooded eyes this is a step liner and then with the side of the brush you see how I'm like pressing like that this is why Ariel created this shape to do this and then connect her up and you see how easy that was. This brush is just sensational for this. And then they meet up when your eyes open. And then I'm just gonna fill that in. And she's just looking something like that. And then of course, we wanna line the lash line. But not too thick you don't want it to like to take up your entire lid because obviously with hooded eyes <laughs> we don't have very much lid space okay so we are looking at something like that for our wing and of course now i'm just going to do the inner corner wing so i'm just going to use a glisten cosmetics number two brush this is the brush i use the most for this and i am just gonna by getting some product on there not making sure there's not too too much on there and then i am going to extend this upper line down just in the direction it was already going in down and then bring it back in to the lash line on the bottom just like that do you see how easy that was and then I'm going to use the brush that we used to cut out our eyebrows and just make sure that this here is nice and sharp. Okay, just like that. So I'm gonna go do all of that on the other eye and I will be right back, guys. Okay, that is the other eye done. And while I was, um, so I was charging my camera and while I was, I was playing with some lashes and I think I found the lash. I was really worried about what lash I was gonna wear. So now I'm just gonna pop on some of my Too Faced lip injection. Just so my limps can, my limp. My lips can pump up while I put my base on. 
So next, what we're gonna do is I am gonna spray my face with the Beauty Bay um, Oil Control Priming Mist. So I just give that a shake up. And I just spray her on. And then I'm gonna prime. Not the prime, it's a crime, period poo. So I'm gonna mix together my Fasali Skin Tuned Blur and my Fasali Liquid Powder. You can definitely get dupes for these, 100%. Liquid powder is amazing. It's like so underrated. No one ever talks about it, but it's literally like powder. It's like, it's like, it's like a mattifying primer, basically. And then obviously the Skin Tune Blur is a pore um, blurring primer. So I like to mix them together because um, they're like droppers and then just work them in to the areas that say like I get oily and the areas that I have enlarged pores. And then I'm gonna take some Urban Decay All Nighter and spray that on my face. <sighs> just like that. Urban Decay or Nighter has technology in it that helps prevent facial sweating. And you know, we hate oil here. We hate facial sweating here. So, <laughs> yes, please, ma'am. Wham, bam, ma'am. So, obviously, once that's on, I'm going to go in with my foundation. So, I'm going to use the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation. And I wear the shade 340 Oak. So, I'm going to go in with that. I normally do, like a pump here a pump there and a pump oh where did that even go did my forehead catch that all oh my god i've not wet my sponge i'm just all over the place i'm just gonna go with my sponge of course the one and only coco cosmetics by clo marshmallow sponge and i'm just gonna start bouncing that in so if uh next week <laughs> I will have a spray tan on, so I'll probably go a shade darker than this. This is just like my my shade, like. Um, but also, I do carry this foundation in my makeup kit, so I do have quite a few shades. So I'll probably put a pump of a darker one in there as well to mixy mixy. So yeah, I would just say use your fave foundation that you know like wears a really, really long time on you. For me, that's that one. So then I'm gonna go in with my H&B Cosmetics Concealer. And continuing on from earlier, like about me being dyslexic, yeah, I got loads of help in college and then I got nothing at uni, which was kind of a culture shock really. Like it did make things hard. And like if anyone here like watching is dyslexic, you know how horrible it is. Every single time you get work back, for it to say um like on things to improve spelling and grammar like, every time like after you, it being like that for your whole life it does really wear you down and actually like it really really bugs me like i can't help it like i am really out here like trying my best um but like am i gonna pay someone to proofread every single piece of work i do at uni no <laughs> like i'm not made of money and stuff so it was like really really annoying and it just made me really really frustrated and i actually ended up having like massive beef with like the pastoral support at my uni and everything and it was like mad like it like went really high up and stuff like i made like loads of complaints and stuff and we had like beef like a full-on beef <laughs> so then i'm just gonna get my like little concealer brush and just make sure that's nice and sharp here again So yeah, there was definitely room for improvement at my uni and everything, but you know, it is what it is. Not everything can be perfect. Not everyone has the most blessed uni experience. And like, people always like to me like, oh, would you recommend going to university? And I would say no, not necessarily. Like, I don't know, it's hard. Like obviously like, I don't, I do use my degree. Do I work in a job that requires a degree? no um but do i use the skills that i learned yes because i did do a degree that has lots of transferable skills um and everything but yeah like obviously my boyfriend earns way more money than me and he doesn't have a degree 
and stuff and i know loads of people that like <laughs> i don't know way more than this girl does here and they don't have a degree so i really don't think it is the be all and end all i think if you want to go then do it but like don't let anyone like pressure you into it no one pressured me into it like me and my cousin were the first people in our family to like go to like uni like properly and stuff so like my family's always just like been like yeah like do whatever you want do what make, makes you happy i guess my mom would to be a stripper and she'd be like go out this <laughs> and stuff so it wasn't like anyone at home pressured me like did i feel school pressure me um yeah a bit like i felt like it was like if you didn't go like you were stupid like at school but this is like i'm talking about like at senior school not at college um and stuff so yeah i feel like it was kind of expected of us to go to university oh look at that this concealer is sensational so i wear the shade 2.5 but i'm about to go in with shade zero just to brighten i am just literally gonna go boop boop and do two little dots and just leave that to lamb out there for a while and then i'm gonna take my rare beauty what's these always sunny bronzing stick and i wear the shade my eyesight is absolutely terrible does it not stay on it oh wait do i do i wear the shade always sunny or is it called always sunny no because it's called warm wishes these are warm wish bronzers and i wear the shade always sunny <laughs> there we go so i am literally just gonna hit up the areas that i want some corn so we're gonna chisel that jaw and may i just say my jaw is looking sensational since i had it dissolved like the like the jolly area absolutely sensational so glad i got it done and i'm gonna go there on my nose and my lip and stuff just like that i'll do a little dot there too so that we get, get some love you know just because it's like past the hair it doesn't mean it doesn't deserve some love so i'm just gonna get a brush and i am just gonna start blending that out just in the like making sure it stays in the areas that i want it to though and like i feel like that's like the perfect color that so it's gonna mix in really nicely with the eyeshadow and everything and obviously blend this down and along i want to make sure that this is nice and blended but i don't want, really want to tell you how many times i've gone out and i've had like a fucking tide line on my jaw because i've not blended this in properly <laughs> and i find that some are easier to blend in but then others like some i use like they're like really stiff so they're so hard to blend on the neck and get like a nice seamless blend but this one from rare beauty blends super nicely super easily but does pack a punch like it's got like a really really nice amount of pigmentation in it and of course make the five head a forehead and then just blend it into that brow a little bit as well make sure to get up in them edges we got to bleed got to bleed <laughs> got to be glued them so honey they ain't going nowhere <laughs> don't be silly they ain't going nowhere they ain't moving you can literally rub them as much as you want with this brush and they are not gonna go anywhere anywhere and then just with a smaller brush i'm just gonna do the smaller areas So for blush, I'm going to use a mixture of toasted terracotta and papaya pudding. They're quite peachy. Um, the outfit I'm wearing for my graduation is like a black corset top and like a nude skirt. So I want to go like nudie kind of vibes. So yeah, these are stunning. These are like very, very peach blushes. So I'm going to like concentrate papaya pudding a bit more like down this area. So I'm just going to pop her there like that and then the darker color which is toasted terra terra tota <laughs> toasted oh my god toasted terracotta more up whoo that was like a tongue twister and i'm just gonna start blending them in i just used the same brush that i used for bronzer like for cream bronzer to do this oh they're pretty together look at that that is so nice i'm just gonna go in with a little bit more of this here 
been loving papaya pudding recently because I feel like it's like it's like peach but a pinky peach but toasted terracotta is literally just straight up peach and they look so good together oh sensational so then I am just gonna start blending out this white concealer here like this is so full coverage honestly and obviously I'm just gonna concentrate that in the areas that I want like really bright so then with like all the stuff that's left over on my sponge I'm gonna cut my cheek just like that and then I cut my jaw so I press in find the bone and run that along the bone and that's just going to help to really define the jaw and then if i feel like any of it's too harsh i'll just go in with my sponge put a clean bit of my sponge and i just blend it out so then i'm gonna take my little beauty bend <laughs> my words are working my beauty blender puff and i'm gonna take my hmb cosmetics soft focus powder in the shade 01 fair and i am just gonna set my under eyes with that so obviously i'm gonna make sure there's no creases okay and then i'm gonna take my laura Mancier translucent honey powder and again i'm just gonna take this bad boy but like kind of situate it more like all over it and just start Pressing her into my face. Okay, and I got some new Be Perfect powders in the post today, so I thought I would give them a try. So. Do, 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 do. I normally would use my Charlotte Tilbury powder for this, but I'm gonna try this one. So this is the Be Perfect Lockdown powder. It looks like a matte kind of finish. So it literally looks pretty much like the Charlotte Tilbury one does in the thing. Um, so yeah, I'm just literally gonna use that in the areas I would normally put the Charlotte Tilbury. So I normally do like here, normally do like anywhere that's gonna be like skin colored, but I want like an airbrushed finish on I'm here. And then I do like here, just so that's gonna help like my bronzer like really nicely transition from like my skin color, just like that. And then I'm just gonna wipe away whatever is left, just like that. The powder looks nice, it looks pretty much like my Charlotte Tilbury one does. I feel like it was, ow, my finger freaking hell, oh my god, all my fingers are like mad. That really hurt. I feel like it's more like you'd have to see what it wears like to be able to tell. So, and I also have a really light shade here. So, this is the shade two. So, I want to see if I'm going to be able to brighten my under eye with this bad boy and what it looks like. Oh, oh yes, that is nice and pigmented. Look at that. That looks nice. It's nice because I feel like it is matte, but it's not completely matte. Like it has a slight sheen to it. And I do tend to like powders that have that. Like I feel that's really nice. Ooh, that she is a bright girl. I'm just gonna go do the other one. Like that is seriously bright. So I'm just gonna leave that, do this thing. And top tip, if you want like a really sharp jawline, whatever's left on the brush kind of will just go there. Just like that. And of course that's gonna give you like make it look like this bit is hollower so i'm gonna take my charlotte tilbury bronzer in the shade three and i'm just gonna take my brush and start bronzing up the face and then of course i'm gonna go in with my baby the scott barnes blush palette and of course i'm just gonna like mirror what kind of tones i use there so i'm going to start off by mixing these three together 
And that looks like the perfect peach color. And then I'm just gonna dip it in the bright pink, just a tiny bit, and just get right there, just like that. And then these under eyes are so freaking bright. Like I was not expecting them to be that bright. I'm just gonna take like a clean brush and just help to blend any like excess that is still on the way. Okay, there we go. That's better. So now that all the powder is on, I just take my Morphe Continuous Set and Mist and I spray that all over my face. Just like that. So now I'm gonna do some under eye shadow. And I'm literally just gonna start by taking the same shades that we used on top on the bottom and just smoking that up. And I'm actually just going in with like an even deeper shadow just there on the outer, just to really help add some dimension there underneath, just like that. And then I can't decide if I wanna do like a shimmer here I want to do a Danessa Marks twin flame or not probably like finish all the makeup and then like go in with it just so I can see how it looks so I'm just gonna go and do the other one and I will be right back okay so that's the other eye done on the under and I'm not gonna lie I got a bit carried away while my um battery was charging again because it died again <laughs> Um, so I popped some mascara on. I used the KVD um, lash primer and then the Rare Beauty mascara. I popped some lashes on. These are the Jordana Tisha JT3. I cut the last two clusters on and stuck them back on at the end. These are literally insane. And then I just popped a nude pencil. This is Peaches and Cr Cr Peaches and Cream papyrus just in my um waterline and boom that is where we are at so next i'm going to put some highlighter on i want to be glowing to the ground so i'm going to take made by mitchell blush lights penny from heaven and just pop some of her on the back of my hand and then i'm going to take an mf4 from made by mitchell and just work that in the brush and then eek, the moment of truth just to start bouncing that into the high points of the face oh, these highlighters are so nice if you've not tried these though you need to they're literally insane like look at that it's so so freaking nice and I love them as well because like you can really really build them up if you want like a really blinding highlight you can just go in with a little bit if you just want like a softer highlight like it really is completely up to you and then I'm just going to take some on my nose on the bridge of my nose chin put my lip and then I just normally press a little bit here on the forehead too we love some forehead highlighter here and that is literally it but like i'm literally freaking glowing and then i normally go on my collarbone with whatever is left over see us <laughs> sensational oh they're just so good they are honestly 10 out of 10 like i could not recommend them more there's like a color for everyone as well which is what i love as well like they're so freaking good in my kit <laughs> so then i'm just gonna take some of my l'oreal shake and glow spray i love this because it's like makes the skin look dewy but it doesn't like make me oily or like have any sparkle in it or anything just like that with that one just help it I feel like it helps make the skin just look really really fresh again okay and that is time for lips so i'm gonna go in with um a jaclyn hill lip liner this is the shade Toasty. I freaking love this shade. And I'm just gonna pop her on. Okay, 
Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill Liquid Lipstick. This is the shade, oh my God, my eyes. This is the shade, absolutely. It's like a really nice peachy nude. And of course it just doesn't stop there. So I did get some blur, but I didn't get some. I got one blush bear the other day. It's like a, a new line in the blush that made by Mitchell has done. Um, so this is like super, super light. And you know how I love like a super light center in my lip. And I thought this would literally be perfect. Like look how pale that is. So instead of like one of the liquid lipsticks I normally go in with, I'm just gonna go in with this bad boy, just on a little brush. Look how nice that is. No, I'm obsessed. And then what I normally do is I'll go back in with my lip liner. And just redefine anywhere that I feel needs it. Just like that. Oh my God, that looks, sick. That looks stunning. And then last but not least, I'm gonna go in with my Nimia Set It and Forget It. Oh, so much of that comes at once. It's literally in freaking insane. Okay, and that is literally it, hair down. I really, really like it. I love my new brows. I think they just look in freaking insane. And they, they just like really elevate my face like really elongate it really nicely but yeah this is the makeup that i am going to wear to graduation oh my god i'm so excited i can't wait and yeah i just i'm really organized person and i had to do a practice run like i couldn't not do a practice run so i'm so happy with how it turned out if you want me to do like more like hair on youtube please do let me know or if you want to do like the entire process of getting ready like hair and makeup please do let me know like if you want to see how i do like some up some down weave and stuff like that do let me know um but yeah guys i love you so much this video is probably like over an hour long i would not be surprised i love you guys so so much and i will see you on the next one bye guys